In your practice, you spend time with vitamins and supplements. Mm -hmm. What are some of the more common deficiencies, I guess, that you see that, that people have that come to you? Probably the two most common would be vitamin B12 and vitamin D. Mm -hmm. um, those are the ones that are more routinely checked, so that you'll find those, okay. those um, very, very often. Vitamin D deficiency is, is you know, endemic. Basically, everybody has vitamin D deficiency mm -hmm. because we spend so much time indoors. Um, so that's common. But people with obesity, interestingly, have lower levels of vitamin D mm -hmm. than somebody who, who's not insulin resistant or obese. Um, so when I see those really low levels in somebody who's overweight, you know, I already know what part of the problem is. And yes, I have to give them vitamin D, but what will happen is actually the vitamin D will just be sucked into their fat cells, and so they'll still remain deficient mm. in their bloodstream. So you've got to get the weight down, you've got to reduce the inflammation, and then they start absorbing the vitamin D, and that's very important. And vitamin D actually is important because it helps insulin resistance and helps the body, the metabolism. So those two things go hand in hand. So you have to get the vitamin Ds better mm -hmm. to, to help obesity, but obesity definitely causes vitamin D deficiency. So that's, that's definitely apparent. The B12 deficiency is also a concern because B12 is responsible for so many different processes in the body. Um, the metabolism is one. The nervous system is another. Um, the brain certainly um, is affected by B12. And I see a lot of this, and I think a lot of this has to do with absorption problems. People are damaging, damaging their gut, um, and there's this concept of leaky gut that maybe, maybe leads down this path of poor absorption of many of these vitamins. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, a lot of people want to try vitamins or supplements. There's millions of products yeah. out there. Is it best to get advice from a professional to know maybe what you might need instead of just cherry picking, yeah. you know, the number of products that are out there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it is overwhelming. You know, I go to the store and I see what the patients have to choose mm -hmm. from, and I think, well, how are they going to make this decision? And then I, what I love is when the patients come into the office and I ask them to bring all the bottles of the stuff that they think they should be taking or they have been taking, and I am shocked at, at the quality or lack of quality in some of the products that they bring in. And these are common brands that are sold in, in every store, mm -hmm. and they have a lot of fillers, a lot of things like soybean oil and things that I'm thinking, like, why, why are they in the supplement? What are they getting from this, so it's the fillers with it. And again, the quality of the product, and many of them are taking vitamin D, they bought it over, over the counter, but their vitamin D levels are still low. Mm. So I think there's, yeah, they, they need to talk to somebody who has experience with supplements to understand which ones they're gonna get the best results with.